Are you scrolling through YouTube right now trying to find the perfect handmade gift idea for a friend? Well, scroll no more. I've got you. I'm going to show you how to make this adorable, reversible apron. Hey everybody, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. So what are we making today? It's the crisscross apron pattern by Mary Malari. All you need is two one yard cuts of fabric and coordinating thread. If you want to reinforce the pockets, you can grab some lightweight fusible interfacing. You'll also need an iron and a pressing mat or an ironing board and a marking pen. Before we get started, if you could please take a moment to hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, cut out your pattern pieces and we'll get started. The pattern consists of three parts, the bands, and then you've got the pockets and the body. This pattern has great options for adjustment. You can make it a smaller medium or a larger extra large. Also, normally you would place the fold of the fabric right on the edge. However, you can make adjustments there too if needed. For a wider apron, just bring it in a little bit. And for a narrower apron, pull the pattern past the fabric fold. First things first, let's cut out our fabric. If you have a nice sharp rotary blade, then you can cut all four layers of fabric together or you can just do it twice, whichever works for you. Before we set the body pieces aside, we wanna mark the pocket placements and finish the bottom edges. For the pocket placement, I just poked several holes where the pattern indicated and then used my pen to make the dots. And then I just connected the dots. I normally use an air erasable marker, that's my fave, but in this case, a water soluble marking pen worked really well because the air erasable may disappear faster than we want. Now we just need to finish the bottoms. We need to do this on both apron pieces. On my first one, I did a zigzag stitch. On this one, I am going to use the serger. Perfect. If you have any questions throughout this process, please don't hesitate to ask. Just type your question in the comment below and I'll answer just as soon as I can. Next, let's prep our pockets. The pattern says that you can use a lightweight interfacing if you choose to reinforce the pockets. Just know that it's not mandatory, so if you're bummed that you don't have any, you still can make this project. If you do plan on excessively using the pockets, I would take the extra step to reinforce them. On the fusible interfacing, there's glue on one side. You can feel it where it has the little nubs. So you want that and the wrong side of your pocket together. And now press. I forgot to grab my pressing cloth, so I'm just going to use some scrap fabric. Finish the top edges of the pockets. Again, you can use your sewing machine or the serger. Next, turn the edge of the pockets in one quarter inch and press. Again, you don't need anything here other than an iron and a pressing mat, but there are a couple of things that can make your life easier if you choose to use them. Starch, although not mandatory, honestly, I think it's a must. It really does help everything lay nicely. Also, I found that the seam align glue was super handy. Since your fingers are getting really close to the iron and you're folding a narrow edge, the thermal thimbles can save you from getting burned. And the hem gauge, well, I just like it. After all the edges are folded the quarter inch, turn the top under one inch or so. Press and sew across the hem edge. Now those markings that we previously made come into play here. So we're gonna position our pocket and pin it in place. And then we're going to sew an eighth inch away from the edge of the pocket, excluding the top. We don't wanna sew that down. There's one side, now we just have to do the exact same thing for the other. For the next step, I'm going to lay one of the body pieces right side up. Grab two of the crossbody bands with right sides together, sew at a quarter inch, and then press the seam open. Repeat this on the other one as well. You should now have two pieces. Lay them right sides together. We're gonna sew the edges together, leaving the band ends and the bottom edges open. Think of it this way. When you're looking at it, there are essentially three U's. Sew those. <laughs> Then there are two sides. You need to sew those as well. So what's left open is going to be everything on the top and the bottom. I hope that helps. If you have a pair of pinking shears, go ahead and pink around all the edges. This falls in the same category as prepping the pockets. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time. 
Otherwise, just trim them down a little bit. And then press the edges flat. Now comes the fun part. We get to turn it right side out. Kind of scoot your fingers up into the bands and pull them out. Let's press those edges nice and crisp. I find that the thermal thimbles are really helpful with rolling the fabric. Take your time and it will look really nice. On the two center bands, turn them in one quarter inch and press. Now crisscross the bands and insert the side bands into the center bands, approximately a half inch or so. At this point, I suggest trying it on. If you need to shorten it a little bit, you can simply insert more than a half an inch and then you can pin it in place. When you have the right fit, connect the bands by top stitching. Just about done. Now we just need to scooch to the bottom of the apron, turn under a half an inch or so and press. Pin that. This is another place that you can make an adjustment. If you're shorter and would like to shorten the apron, you can do more than a half an inch. All we have to do is top stitch a quarter inch around the sides, bands, and the front. Pair it with some kitchen utensils or bowls and have a great birthday or shower gift. Or my personal favorite, pair it with some fun sewing notions and your sewing friends will love you. I know I would. As promised, here's a link for that seam align glue that I mentioned earlier. Make sure to check that out. All done. Seriously, how cute is this? Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope that you will again. Until next time, happy sewing, everybody.